So, Dr. Gardner, again, you know, in the clinic, we see a lot of patients with chronic pancreatitis. And, uh, and, and I'm going to give you the difficult question of asking you, how do we treat chronic pancreatitis? And we have to take in consideration, as we have been talking before, that every patient is different. Mm -hmm. But in general, what's your approach to the treatment of a patient with chronic pancreatitis? That's a great and very challenging question, but I'll try to distill it down to, to the best I can. So I think the first thing when we talk about chronic pancreatitis is, again, to figure out why patients have it. It's very important to figure out why because you want to try to modify uh, that risk factor in order to prevent it uh, from worsening. So how do you treat chronic pancreatitis? Well, for one, you really try to figure out what's the cause. So if it's, a, for example, an autoimmune condition, you treat the autoimmune disease. If it's from heavy alcohol use, you avoid alcohol. Heavy smoking use, you try to avoid smoking. Genetics, unfortunately, we don't have a great way to modify that, but at this point, uh, but really the hallmark is to really try to identify that underlying cause and modify any risk factors. Even, for example, structural problems within the pancreas can, can be modified. So, so that's the first thing, figure out why. And then what you try to do is treat the symptoms, to treat the quote-unquote sequelae that occur from the chronic pancreatitis. The biggest one I see is pain. And there's a lot of different ways to treat pancreatic pain from medications such as antioxidants to narcotics to even surgeries and finally even removing the pancreas in very special conditions. Um, but these are all ways that we can, we can treat pain. And what we try to do is start from a very non-aggressive approach, trying always to avoid chronic narcotics if we can and kind of escalating as we need to to treat patients' pain. So that's, that's important. We also look at conditions such as malnutrition from excrement pancreatic insufficiency, for example, and the pancreatic enzyme replacement that we're gonna talk about, I think, more. Um, we look to make sure we haven't missed any vitamin deficiencies or mineral deficiencies and replace those as well. Finally, lifestyle modifications, such as dietary modifications, uh, exercise modifications, those are all very, very important. So again, if we kind of break this down broadly, we try to identify the cause, see if we can modify that to avoid that from injuring the pancreas. And then secondly, we look for the symptoms and the sequelae of pancreatitis and try to modify those as well.